boys and girls, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing really, really well. Sorry, I'm doing a challenge where I literally just drink water. I'll be posting it at the end of the week. Not the end of the week, but in a week's time. So today I'm gonna be making a TikTok. Yes, I got TikTok. And I'm ashamed to say I got TikTok because I was one of those people who was like, I'm never getting TikTok. It is the lamest thing ever. And now I can't stop using it. But that's the way it goes, isn't it? You know, it's inevitable. It's, it's gonna happen to all of us, so. My eyelids are a little bit pink because I did a pink makeup look this morning, but whatever. Whoa, hold on. Okay. Okay, so TikTok aside, that's just kind of like something I'm gonna do throughout the video. This is essentially how to be the most major catfish ever. Let's start off by priming. Just gonna use the NYX Hemp Chandra Primer. I just use this because it gives like such a gorgeous glowy, like already look at my face. Wow. I'm gonna use my Urban Decay Stay Naked Foundation. I'm gonna put on way too much. Oh well. This is just the most beautiful foundation ever. So I reckon this would probably be like a banging tutorial for like if you want a really full beat glam look for maybe going out, going clubbing. Obviously not in the current situation. That is coronavirus. Stay safe, social distancing is actually really effective guys. Too Faced Born This Way Multi-Use Sculpting Concealer because it is so thick. This will cover you up. I look so, like I put pink on my waterline, my bottom waterline, and it genuinely has made me look sick. Like I have pink eye or something. My skin's not too bad at the moment. Just have a few blemishes on my chin, but that's pretty much it. Just gonna blend that. Oh no, wait, I didn't want to blend it yet. I wanted, to... okay, I'm putting more on. <coughs> the things I do for TikTok. I am going to use the um, Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Stick in the shade Fawn. Just going to put a lot on. Oh my God, I'm getting a call from my friend. I'm currently filming. I'm filming right now. <laughs> like, ta -da! you're literally on camera. Yeah, what's up? Check me out. I'm, I'm starting a TikTok because he's You're starting now. TikTok? Oh my gosh. Okay. Yeah. I'm telling my people on YouTube. Yeah. This is my friend Dresden. He's on the phone right now. <laughs> he does like the craziest like like flips and tricks and all this really cool stuff. And I told him to start TikTok because I thought it'd be like such a good platform for him. Dude, you're gonna go TikTok viral so quick. I don't know. I don't know. Well, I can't do anything at the moment because I, I still have four more days in bed rest. Oh, that's fine. <laughs> yeah, athletics. he's sick at the moment, but it yeah, sucks. not Corona. I've been sick for like a week. It's not Corona. Oh, sorry about that. All right, TikTok time. Okay, that'll do. Screw it. I'm surprised how well that blended out after being sat on my face after getting the call from my friend and having to film that little portion of the TikTok. Like that still blends out really nicely. I am just gonna use my Real Techniques sculpting brush. Sculpting, buffing? Sculpting brush. I was right. Don't doubt yourself. Oh, it's just such a gorgeous, <clears throat> yum. Yes. I think I am getting better at doing my nose contour. What I do is with the narrow end of the sculpting brush, I just really lightly buff the product, just really gently, not like swiping, just kind of like really tiny movements. 
and get it right underneath the brow bone so that the nose is really connected to the the brow like I take it right under here and then you got the little bit at the end I'm gonna get the Anastasia Beverly Hills banana stick and just draw a line all the way up the center of my nose I am just gonna highlight the center of my forehead and my chin as well I am just gonna use my finger I have a lot more control over what I'm doing and I just kind of really lightly it's like a tap but I do smudge like ever so slightly blend it out a little bit more I'm gonna use the Becca under eye brightening powder and I am just going to pack that under my eyes I want my under eyes to be super bright and if you were to wear this to like a club or something you would want everything to be super set so that you get like minimal creasing minimal budge just gonna set around my mouth as well it's in my mouth okay i am going to bronze i'm gonna use my arbon bronzer because it's like such a gorgeous glowy bronzer I'm holding it quite high up the brush and I'm just doing like the lightest circles just because I find that distributes the product in the best way for me. The one thing I hate about having this clipped hair is you can see like all the product that gets in your hairline. So annoying. I'm going to use this palette this is the revolution pro regeneration astrological palette i am gonna do like just glitz and glam i think i'm gonna dip into supernatural which is this color right here and i'm just gonna literally oh so pretty in fact before i carry on i'm gonna do my brows i'm gonna use the model co clear brow gel just stun my brows up on end really just realized this isn't gonna work oh this isn't gonna work to be fair i don't think i primed my lids anyway so oh my god my eyelids are so pink cool just gonna go in with the elf brow pencil in medium just gonna kind of draw out roughly the bottom line and then fill in the sparse parts as well and on the other side obviously I don't know why I felt the need to specify that I was doing the other side as if I was gonna leave one side okay now I'm just gonna go on with the dry spoolie and just kind of blend it all so there's no dodgy pencil strokes. I'm going to use a small flat angled brush and I'm going to go back in with the Too Faced Born This Way concealer. I think this is like the best concealer ever for doing this because it is so thick it hides any stray hairs. And I'm just going to carve out my brow. I'm just going to drag it down onto my eyelid. And then this will also just become my eyeshadow base. And I'm just going to grab my beauty blender and just blend all of that out. By the way, I don't know if you can tell, but I'm actually really sick. Like, not corona sick, but like I've got such a bunged up nose. It is unbelievable. I sound like Squidward. I kind of talk about it a little bit more in depth in my cleaning vlog that I posted yesterday. Well, it might not be yesterday when I post this video. I'm just gonna do exactly the same thing as I did a second ago. Um, what's that called? Supernatural. I'm gonna wet it this time. Just because I think that gives much more intense shimmer. Wow. 
And I am actually gonna take this like beyond the inner corner. Beautiful. I'm gonna spritz again. And I am gonna use this color here, which is called Rubble. And I'm gonna put that on the outer corner. Oh, I can't get over that color. And I'm just gonna lightly blend that into the other color. I am just gonna buff that out as well. It's very pretty. I'm just gonna get the same color, Rubble, and just drag that under my eyes. I think I'm just gonna take it halfway today. Brush away any excess. Should brush away really, really nicely if you've really set that under eye area. If you haven't and it's sticky, the shadow will just stick to it and it'll make it really difficult to brush away. Here is Benefit Roller Liner. Just gonna do like a baby wing. Don't you just hate it when you mess up on one side? So you've got to mess up on the other side to make it even. Such a love-hate relationship with this eyeliner. Do you know what? It'll do. No, it won't, actually. I changed my mind. I'm gonna use some more concealer. And I'm just going to carve out the liner. Bit better. Just a bit. Using the Arbonne's, Arbonne's? Arbonne Speak Volumes Mascara. God, I couldn't get any of that out of my mouth. So these are the Primark Beauty Lashes in the style Mulan. It's part of the like Disney Princess range. See, these are quite cat-eyed lashes, but if they weren't, what you would do is you'd do a slightly thicker liner and then you'd glue the outer edge slightly higher so that it wasn't actually on your lash line and you wouldn't be able to tell that there's a gap between your lash line and the line of the lashes because of the eyeliner. Does anyone else put their lashes straight on after they've glued them? Like I don't wait for them to go tacky. I find it that they stick better when I just whack them straight on there. No. Yeah. 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 That looks good. Right. Ooh. Time for a bit of blush. I'm using the Bare Minerals Gen Nude Powder in Peachy Keen. Just on the apples of my cheeks. I love these blushes by Bare Minerals. I think they are beautiful i'm gonna use the revolution pro sculpt and glow contour and highlight palette this is in desert sky just gonna wet my brush this is such a gorgeous highlight oh that's just stunning ruby no ruby no i've just cleaned my sheets you've got to stay on the blanket so cute. <sighs> but you're so annoying sometimes. I think I would just want a really like ultra glowy look. So I'm literally just gonna highlight all the high points of my face. So right above my brow bones, right in between my eyebrows, my nose. Okay, so my battery pack is so low on charge, so yeah, I just went off camera to finish my highlight. What I'm going to do for lips, I'm going to get the Primark Lip Pencil in the shade Rumor. And then I have this I Heart Revolution, like, metallic lip gloss in the shade Shell Phone. And it matches the, like, oh, just the aesthetic that makes me feel just all sorts of ways i think just to give it even more of a pop i'm just gonna add this clear lip gloss this is high gloss by primark beauty yes oh you will never believe 
what I just did. Except you will because it's me and who else would do it? I just deleted the entire TikTok. Ah, so upset. <laughs> I'm surprised I'm holding it together, not gonna lie. I'm actually really happy with this look as well. I think it's so gorgeous and glowy and oh. I'm not sure why the camera cut off um, because my battery ran out um, so I just went to charge it and then I finished off the TikTok which I then deleted. Let's not talk about it. Just to kind of finish off the whole thing. So I kind of made myself a little bit sparkly. That is with the Candy Cosmetics Pre Glow Up Mist. And then I also went in with the e.l.f. Dewy Setting Mist. Now this does actually leave your face quite tacky. It does make you look really, really dewy though. As you can tell, I've got all the like kind of natural highlights in where I would generally be like dewy. So I am really happy with this look. I love how glowy and dewy it is. I love how the lip ties in with the eyes. I think that is just so aesthetically pleasing and I would definitely wear this to the club you know, when Corona dies down, but whatever. I am so happy that I have all this footage on YouTube, even though I didn't get it on TikTok, because at least I've got this look documented somewhere. Thank God. I really hope I've, pro I really hope I've provided some entertainment for you um, during, you know, this difficult time if you're in isolation. Keep safe, guys, and I will see you soon for another video.